to Tech Police Tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to look at how you can create a bootable USB for Hiran's boot disk. You're only going to need three things for this. You're going to need the latest version of Hiran's boot CD, which you can get directly from Hiran's site. I'm going to leave the links, by the way, in the About section. You're also going to need a copy of Rufus, which is a bootable USB creator. Uh, Rufus is version 1.3.3, that's the latest one, and Hirons is version 15.2. Um, at the moment of the latest version of Hirons, it contains over 260 programs. Uh, they range from antivirus tools, archivers, network tools, password tools, recovery tools, remote control security tools, basically pretty much anything to repair or fix a computer. Um, it really is a go-to kind of set that most people should have in their toolkits. Okay, um, let's get on with this and create the USB. Okay, so on the Rufus, once you've downloaded it, for Windows Vista and Windows 7 users, you're gonna have to run this as admin. Uh, Windows XP, just double click to begin. So Windows 7, just right click on it, go run as administrator click yes when asked okay and this is basically the window all right in the top one you obviously want to make sure that you're selecting the correct USB so once it's inserted into the computer just double check that you've actually made sure that you're going to place it onto the correct one you can see mine is J here so that's fine and J is the only one selected our partition uh, schemes just leave that as default and that's fine so it's BIOS or UFE uh, file system FAT32 cluster size leave that alone uh, format options uh, all of these you can leave as default uh, click in the format options here will just give you some advanced options but you don't need these the only thing you're going to need to change is this one here see free DOS change that to ISO image basically because we're creating the USB via an ISO image okay so once you've done that click here to browse for your ISO file I put mine on the desktop so it's easy to find so click that go to desktop it's already there on mine but obviously just go to desktop in my folder Hirons and then just open that's all you have to do now just hit start it's going to give you a quick warning saying that obviously everything on the USB is going to be basically destroyed. That's fine. Uh, click OK and it's going to begin. Okay, how long this is actually going to take is really down to a few things. Uh, as I said, it shouldn't take more than five minutes, but it's down to the read and write speeds of the USB that you're obviously writing to, plus the speed of your PC, CPU, and everything like that. So I'm going to let this run um, and I'll get back to you in a minute when it's finished. Okay. Okay, so Rufus has now finished its job. It's made the USB stick bootable and now it's and then it's copied over the uh, required files from the Hirons boot CD. Uh, once this is finished, all you have to do is hit close. That is it. It's uh, really is that simple. Uh, to double check, it's not going there. It's going to my computer. And as you can see, you've now got a Hirons boot CD on your USB. Okay, now to actually use it, obviously use it at boot, but you will need to change your boot priorities to boot from USB first. Um, do that, and once you go in, all the tools are yours. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.